One of the interesting things is about what is the form in that great slogan, form and content, of a play. The content is understandable. How do you tell this story? A while ago, when Saddam Hussein was captured and was dug out of that pit, and there he was, what is the first thing they did to him? The first thing that we in pictures saw, that is, um, they didn't stand him up against a wall like Ceausescu, or they didn't indict him, they didn't make grand statements. What they did was they devalued him. We, we saw close-ups of a man with an old grey beard and the dye running from his hair, and they probed into his mouth, inspected his teeth. There is, it was a quality quite consciously to demean this character, and that was a very powerful image. And I thought, let us start the play with that idea. So we have this sort of physical demeaning of both of them. And that was a that was a piece of you know a theme a hammock on which to hang the structure of the play the form of it. That needs to be just now. Oh, interestingly, the actress playing um, Lady Macbeth is uh, an actress called uh, Lara Grice, who I think pound for pound is probably one of the most talented people I've ever seen. But she's, you know, so typically uh, uh, the, the sort of talent that you envy. You know, here's someone who can sing, who can dance, who can do anything, who's wonderful at comedy, is wonderful, you know, just everything. And of course, she's extremely beautiful. In this play, she has to be covered in mud and filth and grime. And there ain't no singing, there ain't no dancing, there ain't no comedy. It is a very painful, hurtful journey which Lady Macbeth goes through, uh, not only within the play, but actually in the form in which we're doing it, where she's chained by the necks like some dog in the yard. Uh, so she has to, uh, to carry all of these pressures against her. And I don't think it's an area which Lara has, has worked a huge amount in. I may be wrong, but oh, she's astonishing. You are a cat, and like a cat you come bound with the promise of misfortune. You are tame, yet you are wild. But the lion has more dignity in one strand of its mane than you have in your full feline corpse. 